want to talk a little bit about what we mean by dummy variables. And if you look at the chapter seven practice problems, it asks you to do two dummy variables here. And in the um, question, what was that? Question three for the homework assignment, you're only asked to do one dummy variable uh, for a seasonal thing. But since we want to talk about dummy variables, let's do this problem because I've got, I have you making two of them. What I, I made my scatter plot of the not seasonally adjusted e-commerce data. And you can see a few things. First of all, if you kind of don't look very closely, you can see there's a kind of an upward trend of these e-commerce sales as time has gone on. And so when I'm trying to think about the variables that are important in explaining e-commerce sales, well, one of those variables that seems to be important is just the time period. As the time goes on, as we move forward in time, then it seems to be that that's associated with higher and higher levels of e-commerce sales. So one independent variable that I would want to include when I do a regression of, you know, trying to do a forecasting regression and figure out what's important is I want to include this T variable, which I said goes from one through whatever the last date is. Because again, as the T increases or as the time increases, as I move forward in time, then again, I assume that there's going to be a positive relationship with the amount of sales because I can see this nice upward trend of this line. But there's a few other things that I notice, and that is that at every, every so often, and it just happens to be about every, well, every fourth quarter, that there's, a, there's kind of a jump in the sales. And even in this, you know, the recession period here where we see a little bit of a drop in the overall sales, they, I'm still getting a fourth quarter bump there. And so, again, when I'm trying to think of the independent variables that are going to be important in explaining e-commerce sales, not only do I think that the time period is going to be important, but I also, it seems like that fourth quarter appears to be important too. That if I'm in the fourth quarter, then that seems to be another factor that's important as aside from just the fact of, you know, going forward in time. So I'm moving ahead here in 2002, but then fourth quarter jumps up a bit. I'm moving ahead here in 2003, but then the fourth quarter jumps up a bit. So I've got two, two factors that seem to be important in explaining e-commerce sales, the time and whether it's the fourth quarter or not. And I also see that there's this dip here. Now let me go back. So since I think that being in the fourth quarter seems to be important, then I want to try to include that as one of my independent variables. You know, independent variables are supposed to be all the factors that you think are important in influencing the dependent variable. So if I think that being in the fourth quarter is an important thing, then I want to figure out a way to account for that in a numerical vari variable or a quantitative variable. When I thought that the time was important, I made my little t variable here and I just made it increase continually. So for the first observation, I just gave that a one. For the second observation, you know, at the later part of the year, I gave it a two, and then a three, four, or five. So this T variable just increases from one through whatever. Dummy variables are gonna be used more when you have a situation of like a yes, no type question. So do I think it's important to be in the fourth quarter for e-commerce sales? Well, yes, I do. And so let me look at some of these observations that I have here. Well, this is, uh, let's do this one. This is the first quarter of the year 2000. Okay, well, is that in the fourth quarter? No. So that's kind of a yes or no question. I'm gonna give that a value of zero to, be, to mean no. Okay, here's the second quarter of the year 2000. Well, is the second quarter the fourth quarter? No, it's not, so I'll give that a value of zero, meaning that no, this is not the fourth quarter. When I do get to the fourth quarter of the year 2000, then I want to say, well, okay, now the answer is yes. Is this the fourth quarter? Yes. So I'm gonna give this a value of one. And so I do that every time in my data, I come to a row that's associated with the fourth quarter. Because again, that's kind of the, the yes to the question of is this the fourth quarter or not? Because again, I think being in the fourth quarter is gonna be important. And so making this dummy variable and constructing it the way that I did will allow me to account for the fact that there's this bump up every fourth quarter. I ask, make a column labeled recess dummy for the periods when we are in the recessions. And you can see it, let's see, when did I say it to you? I said around 2001 and then around 2008 and 9. You can see it a little bit here in 2001. There's a little bit of a dip. It's not very pronounced. But there's certainly a more pronounced dip in sales in that later period. And so it seems like whenever the economy is going through a recession, that that's going to affect e-commerce sales too. Again, all of this is just in the context of trying to come up with independent variables that I think are important in explaining e-commerce sales. So 
time period that we're in seems to be important. Whether we are in the fourth quarter or not seems to be important. And also, whether we are in a recession or not seems to be important too. So I'm going to make another variable because I, that question, are we in a recession or not, is another yes or no question. And so any of those time periods where we are not in a recession, like in the last period of, or last quarter of 1999, that was not a recession year. The second quarter of the year 2000, that was not a recession year. But when we get here to the second quarter of 2001, well, that's when uh, government agencies have said we were in a recession during those three quarters. And we were in a recession during these other periods that I, I had you specify. So I've accounted for all of those things. I've accounted for whether we're in the fourth quarter or not, and I've accounted for whether whether we are in a recession or not by constructing these dummy variables in that way. If you're trying to come up with, with independent variables that you think are important, and the way that you want to figure out, well, is this, is this variable gonna be a factor this year? If, if you can say, well, it's either a yes or no question. Are we in the fourth quarter or not? Are we in a recession or not? That's a yes or no question. Then you can use dummy variables to kind of account for that, to have your regression account for that factor.